So we got this fuel cultivator, I don't know, nine months ago or something stupid like that. I just never made a video on it. So that white fuel cultivator we used to have, the white 226, basically you might as well call it a dump rake. Like, so if you have heavy residue, they just plug and plug. Like three times across the field it would plug and you don't get anything done because <clears throat> you're spreading the corn stalks out. And it didn't really do that good of a job with seed bed prep. So we needed something different. So anyway, we got this DMI Tiger Mate 2. Last spring we got it after planting time. 26 and a half feet. Which we should be able to pull it to 4450 yet. It might be slow, but the plan is usually the 4960 is going to pull it. But it does have a brand new harrow and baskets so that was a lot extra but i think they're definitely make a big difference in seed bed so basically tines will level it and then these will break up the lumps and kind of pack it down almost firm the ground up i guess you should call it now it's on wooden blocks here because they got the jack on the end here we're gonna weld it in the center. So, it's so back heavy, actually, you need the jacket in the back, but we didn't quite get it welded on this fall, but we will for next spring. So, there's literally nothing on the front holding it. It's so back heavy with them baskets hanging that far back, like, that's it. So you can run the hammer strap or the regular hitch here. It does have lights, they do work tandems on the wings even so should have some good seed bed come this next spring that's something we we're kind of lacking pretty hard is we had a terrible seed beds really with that old white that thing's long gone now but i say a diet dmi tiger mate 2 is probably one of the better Field cultivators on the market. Um, it has another row of shovels compared to the white. So the other one, I think it had four rows. This has, no, it had three rows. This has four or five rows of shanks. Five rows. So they're spaced really far apart compared to the white. And they're also more of a gap between the shovel and the frame to give you more flow. Not saying we won't ever plug this, I'm sure we will, but it's not gonna happen three times going across the field every time. Like, that's just a disaster, honestly. That's what it was, but. Should be a good rig. Like I said, 26 and a half feet. The other white was 24 feet, I think, so two and a half feet more. Which doesn't seem like much, but you go for a couple hours and you can really tell the difference here. Has this have uh, gauge wheels on there too, all kinds of tires. But yeah, brand new hair and basket on it, ready to go. Figured I'd make a video on it. Some people seen it in the background, but uh, a couple months, this will be running behind the 49. 49, we're adding. Uh, weight in the back and we already got it turned up to 240 horsepower because we're gonna make that chisel plow into an 11 shank instead of a nine so i think we're putting i don't remember what it was i think it was like 1500 pounds a side or 1600 pounds per side of weight but shouldn't really need it in field calving as much as chisel plowing but we'll find out